I am utilizing the Bit Integrations plugin to establish a connection between these two platforms. Let's go to Bit Integrations dashboard. Now click Create Integrations. Now search and select Trigger which is Gravity from. Select a form. Click Next. Now here search and select Salesforce. Here you can give a meaningful integration name as you want. To get the client ID and client secret open your Salesforce. Now go to Setup. Click on App and click App Manager. Now click on the new Connected App button. Give an app name. Give here the contact email. Now scroll down. Enable API OAuth setting? Please enable it by checking this option. Now go to your integration setting. Then copy the authorized redirect URIS and Paste it here. Now here you have to select the OAuth scope, which is full access. Now click Add. Scroll down and click Save. Click Continue. And the changes can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. Now to get the client ID and client secret, click Manage Consumer Details. The verification code is sent to your registered email account. Just copy the code and paste here and click Verify. Here are the created consumer key and consumer secret. Now copy the consumer key and paste it here. Now also copy the consumer secret and paste it here. Now click Authorize. Click Allow. Authorization successfully. Now click Next. Now select the module from the drop-down list. Now map the field. Now click Next. Now click Finish and Save. Here is no data in Salesforce. Now go to your form and type some information and submit the form. Form is successfully submitted. Also, Go to the Salesforce account to check whether the data is going to the Salesforce account or not. Here is the data that came into Salesforce through the integration. Thanks for watching our video.